I'm Roger Pollard, founding partner of Pollard Thomas and Edwards. I'm Bill Thomas, founding partner of Pollard Thomas Edwards. There is something about Pollard Thomas Edwards which fits quite neatly, I think, into our present times. In the old days, you were either a world famous architect or you were a large architect just doing commercial work. So the emphasization of, of having some sort of philosophical view of being a fairly capable and clued up and a fairly large practice, which PT has become, is to me a great revelation and a great strength and I find it very satisfying to be here and see that what they have done and what they continue to do. In 1974, being employed was not a nice thing to be. An office was not a nice place to be. It's a place you'd rather not be in. And being in an environment where 90% of the rest of the population of the environment were men, that wasn't very nice either. And I thought, well, if we're going to start a practice, I'm going to change all that. And I think the history of PT is an expression of trying to change those things so that working was actually a fun thing to be and not something which you're dying to at half past five to get out the door. Okay, Carl, what has been your favourite party at Paul Thomas Edwards? Favourite of all the parties? Um, probably has to be the, the Son of Lumiere party that we arranged here and that we would project the history of D Specker onto the building. And I think it showed PTE in a great light without actually talking about the actual company. It just talked about the building in which we do all the work. Every week, as you know, Some for a Soul has to cook lunch for everyone. There's now 130 of us, so that is a um, pretty amazing feat. But I think it's really special that we do it. I think it's a bit like a project. It's really challenging. And I think it's wonderful that we all eat together every week, and we've been doing that for 40 years. Mm -hmm. We also have a football team that plays, we plays regularly. We play softball each week in the summer. Uh, we've just started a, a ping pong tournament which is, gets quite entertaining at lunchtime after work. And very um, competitive. And very competitive, yes. I think everyone wants to work in a place where, where there's great work, um, you enjoy coming into work, and, and you're valued. And I think we do all of that pretty well. But I think what we do really well is, is develop our staff and help them achieve their potential. And that, that's what really makes us special, I think some phrases that we've been using for years and years which are still really valid never forget that every unit will be somebody's home simple may be obvious but it applies all the way through what we do you know, and i think that's great i'm andrew baharrell i'm an executive director and one of the owners of pollard thomas edwards when we arrived here in 1994, this was quite a rough area. In that intervening period, PTE has restored and expanded our own studios here at Dicebecker Wharf. And we've also completed two major mixed-use development projects with our joint venture partners, Grove World, that's Crystal Wharf and Angel Waterside. Every single flat in that development is different. Angel Waterside is a great example of the modern mansion block. Instead of filling the site with new development, pulls back from the water and creates a new public park in a part of, of Islington which is very deficient in open space. I think we can reasonably claim to have kick-started regeneration in this area I'm Theresa Borsett and I'm Executive Director at Pollard Thomas Edwards Architects. The site was acquired by two housing associations, Circle and Family Mosaic. The buildings at the Old Royal Free had lain empty for many years and nobody really could sort out the redevelopment solution. And the key to it was the vehicular access was around the perimeter of the site and the gaps that were left were too narrow for modern day vehicles. And we had the idea of actually if we could get English Heritage to agree to 
demolishing the two gateway on the front elevation and we could rebuild those with slightly different proportions to allow modern day vehicular traffic to go through the centre of the site. It would really unlock the redevelopment potential of the site. Of course, everybody thought we were nuts. You know, English Heritage agreed to demolishing and rebuilding existing listed buildings, but we did that. I'm Steve Fisher, and an executive director of Pollard Thomas Edwards. The understanding the context and getting the right diagram is extremely important for PTE. And I think Packington is an extremely good example of how a simple diagram has worked very effectively. The existing site was a bit like a fortress. The whole surroundings were sunk into the ground and it tended to make the residents alienated, a bit daunted by their gentrified surroundings and probably quite envious of the surroundings as well. The 540 existing flats will have 300 homes added, 85 of those are houses, and that is probably the key to the whole regeneration. It offers a number of things to the community in terms of we've created a new Islington Square, we've created a public right of way through the site. And if you look um, around the central square, there are some railings and you'll see small handprints. And I know a lot of those handprints belong to the people who are now 23 or 4 and still live on the estate today. So I think that that success of really um, challenging ourselves on you know, what's special for the individual is borne out by people not wanting to leave. Integrating all the work with the residents, feeding off the residents, making sure the residents are happy is absolutely vital to getting the right socially based solution for the site. One unexpected thing that our work here led to was to design and act as developers for a new primary school in Islington on a, a, a different nearby site and that started out PTE's now really quite substantial portfolio of education projects. I think it is significant that all of our own development projects have won multiple design awards. In a way, the ones we're most proud of aren't for a building at all, but our garden here at Dicebecker, which was the very first thing we did when we arrived, consistently wins Islington in bloom every year.